Hello and welcome back to Case of Cud. Um, it's not a good time right now. <laughs> it's not a good day. It's a bad day to die, actually. What do we got? Horn Chameleon Corpse. I think that's our doing. Oh! We have, I think, um... I think those are, uh, anti-floral mines. We have a Chromling. You regain your bearings! Oh, thank you. Things got a lot better all of a sudden. I'm leaving. Oh, I think I'd actually rather be lost in the canyons than in the floral fields. Back to Jopa. Wait, did I... not complete all of Jopa's quests? No, I did. I had a Jopa recoiler this whole time. Oh my god. I could have just I could have just teleported back. Oh, why did I do that? Um, something I am gonna try and not do this playthrough is I'm gonna try and not go to Ezra right away Like this is around the time I would be going to Ezra and I just think that that is kind of um, Ruining cud for me a little bit just a little bit like I can do it and I'll do it if I feel like you know, it's appropriate. But I've definitely been kind of feeling like, oh, okay, and this is the moment where I go to Ezra because it is just the right thing to do. And I mean, is it the right thing to do just because you can do it? Should you? I'd rather go to Ezra when there's call to go to Ezra. Um, which is when, you know, the game tells me to. And uh, you can, you can, you know... Maybe it's unoptimal. I haven't, I actually don't, I will say, I don't get many or any comments um, telling me that I play in optimally. Uh, maybe that I play too fast and to slow down a bit, but um, eh, that's about it. No one, no one really gives me a hard time for uh, not playing exactly the way they would play. Okay, we have 50 drams left. I would prefer to have more health or uh, more water than that. Uh, we'll sell these torches. We don't need those. I'll sell that iron dagger. Sell this. Uh, we don't have to sell the, the wire strand and it is actually worth keeping. Sell this neck ring. Sell both those neck rings. Sell the wine, I suppose. I actually prefer to keep the wine. It's like actually better to cook with than anything else. Okay, what is this small, small violet tube? Salve injector, really? Have I not done the red rock quest? Have... Did I not go to... Hold on. Have you tidings from red rock? Did I not do the... Wow, I didn't. I traveled to Red Rock, but I didn't actually complete the quest. Well, this is the latest in the game I will have ever done Red Rock. So that's kind of cool. I guess, I guess it's cool. I don't know. Is it cool, guys? Let me know in the comments if it's cool. <laughs> Copper nugget rusted. Your chem cell rust. Well, thank you, Kudzu. I will always hate you. Here is our, um... I am, like, I really, I don't know what it is, but I'm really just taking damage a lot. I don't know what it is. Like, my AV is just, like, not high enough. Okay. We should be able to take on a Snapjaw outpost. Good God. Critically hits you for two. Maybe my toughness is just not very good, but like, I'm just, I just feel inadequate right now. I guess we could be using sleep gas generation. There is always that. And I should be doing that. Okay, this is a lot of uh, stuff here. We'll take the bandages, I suppose. They are actually kind of worthwhile. I, I've never, like, I've died from bleeding maybe once. 
once or twice. Why are we not... Oh, we don't have scavenging. I don't have scavenging and I don't have um, trash divining, so I'm not really getting, you know, the most from any of this. So now we have scavenging, we can rifle through the trash. There's a cool axe on the ground. Yeah, there's a lot of trash on the screen, so it really makes sense to uh, take scavenging now. I wish I had uh, trash divining as well, but you can't have it all. Um, this is, I mean, I always like finding some water skins because it's always a good idea to carry a few extra water skins. Painted wooden buckler. I guess we could disassemble. Can we disassemble that and get the bits? Yeah, I guess we can. Was that another water skin? I should grab that. These uh, kudzu really are a pain in the butt. I love that uh, vine or uh, seed spitters now have their own little animation. I mean, it's not unique to them. It's I, I've I have noticed that it's like the, the same kind of projectile animation for um, all projectiles and creatures but like i don't mind it's a slightly different hue but yes come here girthling is it gershling i don't know why i got that wrong sleep sleep yes sleep you want to sleep and then be killed by me wow this guy is really just gonna like walk right into my sleep gas i'm totally cool with that thank you Go ahead and grab one of these. Did I grab both of them? I did. I only need one. Um, you know, just for fun, why don't we take the long way back? You're famished. Can't cook with hostiles nearby. Are there hostiles nearby now? Yes, okay. Well, how about now? Okay. Whip up a meal. Plus one agility for the rest of the day. That's a really astoundingly good um, get. Are these all jilted lovers? Definitely, I'm going to kill those. Didn't get anything from them. That's fine. Okay, let's um, let's actually start making our way back. I could, you know, fight a bunch of jilted lovers. Ooh. Well, I mean, this is fine. I'm just gonna gas it up. Nice thing about the gas is like you can just like walk back into it. Yeah, that's uh, that's turning out to be a really good get. I'm a very much appreciating a sleep gas generation. Treat these as scrap, disassemble, examine, metal folding chair. You don't say treat these as scrap, disassemble, water skin, copper nugget. We get our copper nugget back, the one that rusted. And we can sleep gas generation again. May as well. Like I have a pretty good one, two combo forming here now. And I'm pretty happy about that. I'm definitely going to use it when, uh, when I can. I think it, uh, I think, like, sleep gas generation is, is, re I just realized we have the Titan Carapace. Oh, wow, we have, we don't just have the one-two combo, we have this one-two combo. You tighten your Carapace, your AV increases by five. And then, oh, wait, we have to... I guess we have to do one and then the other. We got to do release sleep gas and then tighten our carapace. So then we have AV 11 and then we can just like chill. Now, I guess it doesn't really work. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. We have a null worm. This is fine. 
Release sleep gas. Uh, they cracked my boar skin gloves. How dare you, honestly. Okay. There's really nothing... I mean, the worst thing we can encounter is, um... We can encounter uh, a sleeping... A slumberling? I don't know why. Words are hard, you know? Come here, Noel Worm. There we go. We are taking a lot of damage still. As soon as uh, my boar skin gloves get cracked... Oh, there, go, there goes the other ones, I guess. Um, things get a lot spicier because then I'm taking damage way more reliably. Like, 5 AV is just low enough that it starts to suck, you know? We're just gonna release our stinky, sleepy gas everywhere. Come here, bear. Come on. You don't want to you don't want to fight me in the sleepy gas. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead <laughs> Snapchat just Absolutely received the full frustration of the bear. Oh You don't you didn't want my sleepy gas. Well here have some more sleepy gas the Nice thing about the sleepy gas also is that the cooldown is quite low Come here No worm. There we go. Oh god, okay, you know what? Sleepy gas time. I know, I, you might be surprised. But in fact, I do like the sleepy gas all over the place. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of what's happening here. Let's, um... Seed Spitter is getting, like, kinda close to doing some damage to me. I'm actually gonna make a little hole here. Just so I have a little bit more, um area to rest in I don't see any shots coming in so let's actually just try and rest okay I think someone ki something killed the seed spitter no it's still there I guess it just kind of get I wonder if creatures like give up if they don't see you long enough probably not I'm pretty sure the AI of the uh, creatures is once they know you exist they can kind of see you no matter where you are um, and then they just kind of react accordingly Oh, that's a lot. Sleepy gas. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't I thought the centipede was still there. Okay, I think we can make it through this. It's gonna be tough, I won't lie. Let's do a precognition start. Actually, I think I still have a witchwood bark. Oh, I have tons of witchwood bark. Let's uh let's eat some of that. And I'll just tighten my carapace for a moment. Yeah, I'm just like not good enough yet to like kind of tank It's kind of a problem All right, we got our last unstable genome stunning force Wow, the game really wants us to have burgeoning, huh? You invoke a concussive force in a nearby area throwing enemies back and stunning them Creatures are pushed away from the center of blast, stunned, and dealt crushing damage in up to three increments. Um... I, I kind of like a lot of these. Um, Space-time vortex is actually a lot of fun, especially with precognition. Because you can precognition space-time vortex and just have a look around, you know? It's, uh, it's kind of a fun time. But Stunning Force is actually quite nice. So let's take that. We, we're becoming a very a kind of a stunning machine, you know? Um, and I'm gonna want to... 
I think it I think make camp is always gonna be shift C, so I actually don't need this to be on my quick bar. I'm gonna test that. Um let's put stunning force next to release sleepy guess. Let me see. Um shift camp. Yeah, okay, so once you've set a hotkey for a key, it doesn't matter if it's on your quick bar or not. But now we can do stunning force. And yeah, that works out quite well. Um, and now we have sleepy gas and an extra stun. Your precognition is about to run out. No, we don't want to go to the beginning. I, I actually think that the way things are going is has improved dramatically. Uh, oh, I accidentally went into aggressive stance. Okay, well, I want to go back into a dueling stance and then I want it to swipe. But I guess the cooldown isn't off yet. But now it is. I just realized, uh, it took me until now to realize that there's um, a really clever uh, interface thing here going on. The, uh, the icons will be colored if, um, if it's off cooldown. And then when it's on cooldown, it's like cyan blue. Didn't realize that. That's actually really, really well done. I, I appreciate that a lot. That'll tell me, um, like this cut is almost like, I, I, I know for a lot of people, um, they're like, yes, it's control already. And I, I agree, but it's still not my preferred way of playing, but we're getting there. Like we're, we're getting, it's getting so close where I could definitely see myself playing this on the steam deck. Um, release sleep gas. Let's do another stunning force. And stunny gas. Or sleepy gas. That was a lot of things we just fought. Um, we are quite hungry, so let's go. Something is in the way. Okay, let's whip up a meal. And rest. I think we're good. That was a lot of stuff we had to kind of fight through. Oh god, a slumberling, huh? Oh, and uh... Two seed spitters right next to it to wake it up. Well, the good news is we found the ancient bones. This is the basically the main reason why we come here. Um, Slumberling is awake. So we've got a salt encrusted small trinket. Can we... Do you think we can recoil? I could just put it back to sleep. Uh, I don't have a chem cell and the Jopa recoiler. Why? Why don't I? Could we great gate recoil? Nope. Oh, this is bad. No, not stunning force. Sleepy gas. Pretty sure if I put it to sleep, it'll just stay asleep. Okay, do I have a chem cell? I have a small trinket. What is this? A small sphere of negative light. That's uh, why we came down here, basically. Uh, we don't actually have any any energy right now. Okay, that's fine. Um, stunning force. Sleepy gas. Swipe. It's a one, two, three punch now. We're still not doing enough damage and we're still taking too much damage. It's it's like for real uh, kind of astounding. Um, you know what? Let's um, throw some points into Carapace. Actually, yeah, we're going to throw points into Carapace. Um, our AV will be immediately improved from doing that. Can we do like two more? Yeah, two more. Oh, we can't do one. We can't do another one. We have reached our cap. Shoot. Well, still adding one more means we get that AV bonus. So um, we are at seven AV, which is better. It's it's much better. Okay, um, 
Sleepy gas. Stunning force. Wow. We're just like against crabs, really taking it. Of course, you know, they, they do have strength in numbers. Um, once they get, once they surround you, they can really start to like stun lock you. So we don't, we don't want that. And I keep like, for some reason, um, I keep making the mistake of like using stunning force, forcing them through the hole. So I no longer am fighting them one at a time. And in fact, fighting them all at once. It's a dumb mistake I keep making. But you'll have to forgive me. I actually have rarely used Stunning Force either. Okay, I heard some kind of robot. Don't know what. What are, what are we hearing? Absolute destruction over here. It's just fire. Oh, God. Uh, I went into aggressive stance again. I didn't mean to do that. I think it's a free action though. I don't think it costs us anything to, to swap our stance. It is, of course, one of the benefits of going into, uh, of, of doing long blades. I think I have been playing a bit better so far through this, um, this campaign. I've been playing a little bit slower where it counts. And, um, you know, these, uh, one of the benefits of doing unstable genomes is I am forced at least a little bit to, um, consider new tactics. I don't get to, uh, like min max so much. And I am kind of enjoying the sleepy gas long blade build. We've got a ruin inside <clears throat> on, on our uh, path to Jopa. You just have to crack my boar skin gloves in your one attack. Got some books. Okay, sleepy gas time. I, I won't lie, it would be, you know, it would be pretty good if we could have um, a ranged attack. The one thing I'm really kind of lacking right now. Um, not a huge fan of what's going on here. We're going to do a precognition start. Just, just in case. Nullworm is average. Didn't know that. We're going to swipe them. Uh, I guess we're not friends with this dragonfly. One of the downsides to um, e any gas generation is you tend to make enemies with everyone around you. I honestly thought that Snapjaw was dead. Okay. We're good now? Okay, we're not good. It's okay. We're gonna stun that Snapjaw for no reason. Nice. I mean, yeah, like yeah, a couple things we could consider is um, leveling up sleep generation at, uh, a little bit later. Uh, this is gonna be one build where I actually am really gonna want um, Eater's Nectar Tonics. Now, I, I, bef hear me out, because <laughs> I understand what I just said was, like, seriously annoying. <laughs> um, for those that know, uh, Eater's Nectar Tonics are, like, possibly one of the best items in the game, and of course it's objectively fantastic to get them. But I am generally not a huge fan of them in uh, when you're playing a mutant, which we are right now. Uh, reason being is they're always just a little bit disappointing for me. Um, they are a fantastic item when you're a true kin because they are, I think, plus one attribute to like every attribute. Plus one to every attribute is a better way of saying that. 
Um, and I believe... I might be thinking of uh, Sphinx injectors, actually. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll have to check this out. I think Sphinx injectors are just like a plus to our ego or something stupid. But I'm pretty sure Eater's Nectar tonics as a mutant are only a plus one to uh, like a, an extra mutation point. Which I'm usually not very excited about. However, um, here's here's why I am this time. Is that Are those slugs? They are slugs. Okay, we're getting out of there. Now, this is just like the actual generic Caves of Cud. Um, give me a second here to for me to collect my thoughts. The sleep generation and then stunning force is actually quite nice. Just to like blow them back a bit. Um, all right. Precognition start. <laughs> We're not in a good way right now. Uh, let's actually take some Witchwood Bark. Please don't become... Okay, we're di we didn't get confused. This is good. Okay, uh, things are actually looking up now. Uh, I would actually like to kill this miner because that's some really, really decent XP. Oh, they did... What kind of gas is that? Is that fungicide? It is fungicide. We got a drill bot angry at us. Um, we actually we have a lot of mutations now that now I can actually like think again. Um, <clears throat> we have a lot of mutations, and um, a lot of them are pretty useful for our build, uh, namely carapace, sleep gas, stunning force. Those are I think our our three ones, and also multiple arms, which I've already used an excited genome for. Um, so. Like, those are the four I would really like to build up. However, um, generally speaking, you only want to spend your points on, like, say, two mutations. If you plan on uh, them, you know, if you want them to carry you into the, the, the end game, you know, like, it, you don't have a lot of mutation points, um, all things considered. So you want to make a build out of, like, two, three mutations max. Um, in order for them to actually be like late game potential. So um, one of them has to be Carapace because Carapace is actually, in my opinion, kind of a flaw um, in, in the sense that it makes it so you can't take armor. So since we can't take armor, we have to build Carapace. That's the one like downside to Carapace. It's a great mutation, but like, you know, it comes with a downside. Um, it, so one has to be Carapace. Uh, I think that Sleepy Gas is our second one, and then Multiple Arms is maybe our third. Although, I don't know, Sleepy Gas might always be good. Let me just have a What is- how does Sleepy Gas get upgraded? Increases sleep saves difficulty. So that's- that is honestly the main reason to upgrade Sleep Gas generation. It's not the length- it's not the length of time in which you can generate the gas that's nice and all but the main thing is that you in order for it to be like stay relevant into the late game wow that uh snapjaw managed to find a, a a mini turret grenade in order for it to stay relevant you you need to level up sleep gas or else um nothing it, it doesn't phase anything anymore and I think that it is a, a highly valuable mutation for our build. So that's why I would make it my second choice. Stunning Force is nice and all, but I don't think it's actually as useful as Sleeping Gas. It's just a, it's just a, like a, a very bright candle that burns half as long kind of thing. Um, so those are my thoughts. I think we, we go multiple arm, carapace, Sleepy Gas. Uh... Precognition is fine. I don't think that uh, upgrading it really matters. Also, it's being upgraded by our ego, which is going to be increased over time as we get more uh, like uh, broad attribute bonuses uh, as a stunning force, in fact. So those things will actually kind of take care of it themselves. It's one of the nice things. Another nice thing about getting unstable genome is um, that we are occasionally forced to take some mental mutations when we wouldn't have otherwise. And, um, you know, like, 
it's nice to have both like if you are a mainly mental mutant um it's always good to have one physical mutation because then you get to take advantage of uh your uh excited genome but similarly if you are a physical mutant it's nice to have a couple mental mutations so that you don't have to spend points upgrading them ego just kind of like passively upgrades over time okay we must be getting pretty close to um being out of here we are pretty close to leveling up or uh, also i'm pretty sure we are close to forgoing our bonus for defeating golgotha early um which i'm not too worried about it just in improves the uh how good the, the the scoped carbide is i think it or it might not even be scoped if you don't do it by level 12 but either way um it's it would improve the carbide and um i'm not too bummed about that i don't even think i'm gonna use it i mean maybe i should obviously like we our agility is isn't always going to be awful but it's generally speaking going to be pretty bad always um i could take measures to undo that but i don't know if it matters too much definitely i want to kill this robot get over here robot get, get over here stop being a coward there we go 116 xp okay we are um finally ascending out of here uh i'm just gonna like run right up and we're gonna go to Jopa, and that it will end the episode. Let's go ahead and do one more sleepy, sleepy gas generation for the road. What is shooting us over there? Oh, why did I come over here? This was awful. Precognition start. I've been using precognition a lot more than I generally do, but it's really nice to have just in, like an extra safety stopgap. And, you know, it, it's not like it, um, it, it doesn't incentivize me to do stupid things. Like, you might, you might worry that, oh, precognition just means you can act like an idiot. Um, and make more dumb mistakes. Not true, actually. The opposite is true. Hear me out. Precognition has a very long cooldown. 221, so I can't do it a lot. Um, similarly... When I do a precognition start, it actually, for me, incentivizes me to play better. Um, because I would prefer not to, you know, do this twice. It's actually um, uh, kind of a heavier... Like, I don't know, it, it, it feels like more of a punishment than uh, getting sent back to the, my last checkpoint, even though that's, like, really dumb. This is a scribe. We have a scribe here. That is incredible. How did how did we get so lucky? He's just like hanging out under under Jopa. Wonder if he has any stories about Jopa. You're famished, okay. Um <laughs> we tossed a congealed love injector. We just kind of found that hanging around. Oh, Oh, that sucks. Anyway, um, precognition doesn't make me act like an idiot. I think that it, if anything, it um, incentivizes me to play a little bit better. Where's our staircase? There's no staircase. Is this not? Okay. Um, this might not have been our road back up to Jopa. I'm going to go ahead and make a note here, scribe. One strata deep. And I'm going to go one north and see if we can find a... Uh... I guess we always know where the staircase leading up is because it's always going to be near this top left corner. Right? Yeah, there it is. The staircase leading to Jopa is always going to be 
um, in the same spot. It's the only staircase that's going to, like, reliably show up. Okay. <clears throat> well, we made it. It was a little bit spicy, but we we did make it. Uh, if you are enjoying this series, definitely give that hit. Hit the... Put the... Put the like button. Press it. Press... Press the like button. And uh, consider subscribing if you're new to my content. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.